Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And what's this? Things are looking a little different. And that's because I finally went outside. Your girl Geary has finally decided to touch some grass, smell that fresh air. More importantly, I wanted to take you guys out on a trip today because I went to visit a food festival. I wanted to show you guys all the eats, the sights, the scenery that Toronto has to offer with our uh, very amazing uh, food content. The sun was shining, the weather was beautiful, so I was like, what better day than to take you guys along with me and show you guys a little bit of my weekend. I hope that you guys enjoy! So this particular food festival is actually located by the waterfront, which is located in downtown Toronto, specifically Ontario Place. Ontario Place actually used to be an amusement park back in the day when I was a tiny little bean, but since then it's been closed and the area is just reserved now for festivals, concerts, for shows, things like that. It's a really, really wonderful place. And you can see many, many boats and yachts launching from there as well. People going, uh, taking a quick little vacation in the middle of the water. It's a really, really great environment. You can walk your dog, you can have a chit chat, whatever you want. And it's a really, really amazing place. I was just really, really excited to go and check out the food. And we finally made it into the festival grounds. Uh, we're walking in now and I can start smelling the food. I can start hearing the food. I can hear the music as well. I was just really, really excited to get in there. So follow me. Let's go. Let's see what delicious food we'll find this time. <laughs> So the first thing that I saw that I knew I had to get was the festival classic, which was the grilled squid. I've always wanted to eat it. I've always seen it all over the internet and this was my chance. I finally get to try it. The sizzling of that squid on the hot pan and just the sprinkling of the spices and you can just smell it when it hits the heat. It was amazing. I was so excited to eat it. So let's try it out. Woo! So the first bite taste test, it was surprisingly very, very tender. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit chewy, but it wasn't whatsoever. It was so easy to tear apart and it was so supple and squishy and it had all of the aromatics that I was hoping for. There was cumin, there was spice, there was coriander. I could taste all the different ingredients that you put in there. It was really, really good and I was so happy. Mm -hmm. so now I finished my squid. What shall my next victim be? <laughs> The choices are endless. I can't pick. Everything looks so delicious. What do I do? Ah! I think I found my next victim. As I was going around the fairgrounds, I saw a lot of people holding these cute drink pouches that looked like there was Thai milk tea in there. Some of them looked like there was some really colorful fruit juices and stuff. And I was really curious what it was. And I finally found the stall. So I'm really excited to try it. I got the lychee butterfly tea flavor. So it was this violet color and yellow color. It was super, super cute and matched my aesthetic. So I was like, hell yeah. So I tried it <laughs> and the taste test, my final verdict, it was good, but I wouldn't say it was the best. It just kind of tasted like lychee juice and diluted soda water, but it was still really pretty. So. I enjoyed it. So after that squid appetizer and that really yummy drink, I think the next thing on my docket is meat. I was on the hunt for some meat and I found this Cambodian stall that was selling beef and lamb skewers. So I got the beef skewers and I tried them out. The smell that was coming off of that grill was freaking magical. It was glossy. It was shiny. It looked so good. It was fatty. And I tried a bite. Oh my goodness. It was delicious. It was sweet and savory. And they gave you a little bit of pickle on the side as well to kind of cut the fatness. It was amazing. So what is the food? food festival if you don't try the okonomiyaki. I saw that they were selling takoyaki and okonomiyaki and I was really hungry that day so I was like no I will get the okonomiyaki. So I stood there I waited for 15 minutes I think waiting for this guy to cook my okonomiyaki. It was good but I felt like it was not as authentic as the true Japanese ones. However, it still filled my tummy. It had all the uh, fl reminiscent flavors that I was looking for. So overall, it was it was kind of good. It was a kind of an okay good okonomiyaki. So the next thing that I tried was actually something I was not expecting to see at a food festival back in the day. I've never seen them have this, but when I finally saw it, I knew that I had to try it and which was the wheat starch noodles. So these kind of noodles are made from wheat starch and they have toppings such as gluten pieces 
and crunchy carrots, cucumber, all those wonderful things mixed in almost in like a cold salad. And the dressing is sesame paste, chili oil, soy sauce, a bunch of other aromatic flavors in there. It's really, really delicious. It reminds me a little bit of home back in China and I really missed it. It was really nice to have it here in Canada and it was really yummy. I really enjoyed it. It was a really good bowl of noodles. So at this point, I was getting a little full. I ate a lot of things and my tummy was starting to get filled up. So I knew it was time. I must get a dessert or else I will not be able to eat anymore. And I saw this stall that sold these um, spicy, I believe, Mexican mangoes. I've seen them online. I've seen people talk about it very often where it's a really sweet mango and they drizzle this spicy, tangy some, a sauce over it and they sprinkle these chili peppers over it and stuff. It looks really delicious. I've always wanted to try it. And the food festival had it, so I couldn't help myself and I got myself a Mexican spicy mango flower, I believe it was called, and I tried it. It was so good! It was so sweet and juicy from the mango, but the sauce was indeed tangy, spicy. Uh, it was, it felt really good. It was a match made in heaven. It paired so well with the super juicy and sweet mango. It was delicious. No regrets. I wanted more. And there you have it. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed the little trip that I took on the weekend. Hopefully uh, you guys were able to experience what a Toronto food festival is like. I ate a lot of really yummy food, drank a lot of really yummy drinks, and I can't wait to visit more of these. I feel like the food festival season isn't going to slow down anytime soon. So I would love to take you guys to more of these kind of uh, festivals or fairgrounds and show you guys a little bit of my home. Home, and I hope that you guys enjoyed a little bit of a different style of video where it's more IRL. I can't wait to take you guys along with me to other journeys and other fun things that I do in the future. And make sure if you guys like the video, click the like button, leave a comment down below. I would love to know what your go-to festival food is and make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell. I post very regularly. I hope that you guys enjoyed my very first IRL video. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching everybody. Bye!